So you're talking about such a dangerous game and all sports, you know, the pressure of winning is there. But with this game, the danger element just heightens everything. Let's now watch our final two. This is Galeramie Marchi. This is the guy that's closest to Justin McBride. He started the night 1,561 points behind. He's ridden four out of six so far. He came into the night in fourth place. Right now he's in sixth. He needs to ride this bull if he wants to keep his hope of taking that buckle away from McBride. And I want to point out that Jody Newberry's hope is still there because he's number four, even bucking off, number four in the aggregate. He's going to come back to championship round. This guy's going to come back to championship round. But if he rides this bull, he could win a world championship. This with gold buckle implications. A fake right. Back left away from his hand. He's got a seat. Free arm behind him. Marchi is the first man to ride five. Justin McBride must ride his if he wants to keep pace. That's the thing. He's got McBride has got to ride. You know, he Here's where Justin's at right now. You know, Hermé goes right before him. There's 18,000 people cheering. He's in the shoot. He's got to remember, he has no control over Gil Hermé, and Gil Hermé has no control over him. He's got to stay focused right now, and remember that it doesn't matter what he does, that Justin's got to stay focused, stay in his game. But this is the best thing that could happen for McBride. Wait, let's get the score, and I'll tell you my take on it. It's 89 and three quarters. That gives him a five bull total of 435 points. Points. It also puts Marchi in fifth place in the go round. That'll give him some more go round points to add to his average points. He leads the average, but here's the deal about McBride. He's got to go for it now. If this guy would have bucked off and Newberry bucked off, you know, he would have been more apt to be stiff, clamped down, and where he just had to ride. 